Let's take a look at division with decimals. We have 75 divided by 10. Now, we do have a special pattern when we're dividing with 10 because our place value system is based on 10. So I want you to think about a simpler problem for a minute. If I said 3 times 10, it would give you 30. Now, one way to think about that is that we're just adding a 0 to the 3. But another way to think about it is that we're moving the place value of the 3. Right here, when we have just 3, the 3 is in the 1's place. When it becomes a 30, the 3 is in the 10's place. So we're making our place value bigger when we multiply by 10. So it makes sense that if we divide instead of multiply, we should be making our place value smaller. So for example, if I said 30 divided by 10, right, you would take away the zero and make that just three. Well, instead of saying take away the zero, you could say, well, the three was in the tens place and I made it one place value smaller by moving it into the ones place. So we can do the same thing with the, the problem we have here, even though it's 75 instead of 70, we can still think of this as moving our place value. Now a nice way to think about that is to think about your number as decimals. Remember 75 is the exact same thing as 75.0, right? You can always put a .0 on any whole number to write it as a decimal. So if I'm dividing by 10, I would be making this number one place value smaller. To do that, I would have to move my decimal point one place to the left. So that would give me 7.50 or just 7.5. So when you're dividing by 10, think of it as moving your decimal point one place or making it one place value smaller. So this would be 7.5. 21 divided by 10. Well, since we're dividing by 10, we can follow that exact same pattern. I can think of this as 21.0. So to make it one place value smaller, I would move my decimal and it becomes 2.10 or just 2.1, right? The zeros at the end of that, I can leave off. Twenty-nine divided by 10. Well, exact same thing since we're dividing by 10. Think of it as 29.0, and then we're making it one place value smaller. So I'm moving my decimal point to the left to give me 2.90 or just 2.9. 36 divided by 10. Well, if I make this one place value smaller, that would be 3.6. 26 divided by 10, making this one place value smaller, so 2.6. 21 divided by 10. We'll take a look at those answer choices. Which one is making it one place value smaller? That would be 2.1. 65 divided by 10. While we're looking for the answer choice where it's one place value smaller to divide by 10. That would be 6.5. 77 divided by 10. Well, we know our pattern is to move that decimal point one place or make it one place value smaller. So that would have to be 7.7. .7. 18 divided by 10. Well, move your decimal point one place to the left or make it one place value smaller. That's going to give us 1.8. 39 divided by 10, well, 3.9, just move your place value. 